GTV, today I will be showing you the internal components of a motor and how a motor works. Motors are typically run by a rotor and a stator. The stator is stationary and is the magnetic poles typically that revolve around the outside of the rotary. Using an AC induction and DC permanent magnet motor as an example, the AC motor has windings as the DC motor has magnets as the stator. The windings in the AC motor serve as an electromagnet. The rotor is the rotational object such as the shaft that will physically move. The motor poles will determine how fast the motor will go and are also attracted and repelled to the magnetic properties of the stator element, thus creating torque. For a DC motor, a brush can be placed on the commutator which will bring in a positive and negative charge to the motor. When the shaft rotates, the positive charge will be attracted to the opposite magnetic pole. If there was no commutation, then the rotor would stop on one side since there is no repelling from either magnetic pole. In a DC motor, the commutator will reverse the direction of the current as the rotor rotates. This will allow for the motor to run smoothly. Reducing the voltage to the commutator will reduce how often the current switches back and forth, which results in a lower speed. For AC motors, there is no need for commutation. A typical three-phase induction motor will have windings in multiples of three for each phase and with an equal number of north and south poles. The magnetic field is induced by the electromagnetic properties of the windings, allowing for the generation of torque. As with the DC motor, the number of poles will indicate the maximum speed. An AC motor speed is determined by the voltage and frequency, which can be controlled through pulses of a variable frequency drive. Motors, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.